Okay, so I just got on Kansas Creek Trail and I don't have a mic on so you will hear the buzz of this lens as it zip and zoom. Um, can't help that. But anyway, I'm probably uh, 50 feet into Kimsey Creek Trail and I'm starting my hike towards the AT. My camera is handheld and lens stabilization is on so I can't do anything more about shaking but uh, this is what the trail looks like. One of the things that keep hikers from getting lost are the blue blazes. What in the blue blazes am I talking about? Well, the, it's the trails that are not the AT tend to be color coded and the side trails tend to have blue blazes. This is, the fr this is one of the blue blazes that I find uh, as I walk the trail to keep me on course. The, the Appalachian Trail AT as I like to call it, has white blazes. So I'm about four miles from my white blazes and it's, um, it's gonna, looks like it's gonna be a pretty peaceful walk. This is a trail that many have blazed before me so I probably am in very little danger of any wildlife encounters. Uh, in fact, it would be pretty cool to see some wildlife. Uh, maybe anything other than, you know, the normal stuff like a snake or something. Um, and even a, a snake, as long as I don't step on it, wouldn't be, um, would make a pretty interesting picture. But, uh, but there is no need of showing a trail for miles and miles, so if I come upon something interesting, I will try to capture it. I don't know how, how easily you can see this, but I just came from way down there um, using a series of switchbacks and I probably haven't made my first mile yet and already I'm feeling, I can tell that I'm gaining elevation. The trail goes up and around and I'm literally pointing the camera up if I can lock on to anything to focus on. I think I go to manual focus and do the focusing myself. So, it, the lens doesn't really give a, a good appreciation of the slight elevation gain. So, I just came from there and I walked out and I got this great big feel and I'm like, well, the devil am I? So, I see a blue blaze on a tree this way. So, it must be, this is the way that I'm gonna be going. Follow the, follow the yellow brick road, but in this case, follow the blue blazes. Follow the blue blazes. Follow, follow, follow. Okay, you get the idea. This is gonna sound like I'm making a comedy if I keep that up. But there's my blaze. So the road is closed, so I guess that means no vehicular traffic. So I guess I won't be able to catch a ride. But for all you guys who don't know, this is what happens when you miss your bus and you have to hoof it. wet ground. Ground is kind of mushy, but it's cool. Sounds like I hear water over to my left. So 
this is supposed to be Kinsey Creek Trail. So I guess I'm at the right place. And I get my first glimpse of Kimsey Creek. Oh wow, it is beautiful. This creek. I mean, you, you really have to be here to appreciate it. But the water is crystal clear. And I guess there may be places that you can find trout in that water. I don't know. Um, since I don't have a fishing license, then it would be Ill illegal for me to even reach in there for a trout. <laughs> so far, I haven't ran into any foot traffic on the trail. Um, so, but we'll keep walking and see where it leads us. I'm probably about a half mile, maybe three quarter miles into it. Um, the bugs out here are atrocious. So, now I'm going over a little tributary. And this may be the kind of stuff that I get my water out of if I get water out from places that are not around the shelters. Um, looks clean enough to drink. And that one little leaf is just blowing in the wind. The little trail there must be a game trail. I don't know. But so far, other than the, a small elevation that I had earlier, it's been a, an, an enjoyable hike. So it's not as dark as it looked. I just got um, a canopy of clouds over a canopy of trees. But I just ran into a sign that says Kimsey Creek, Creek Trail at this trail in a, intersection. Let's see. Now this intersects what trail? Um, Park Ridge. See, this is the Park Circle Connector to Park Ridge Trail. Interesting. Um, have no plans to go that way. But finally, after what, maybe a half hour, an hour of hiking, um, so. I finally realized that I am at the right place, so that's comforting. Okay, here's this bridge that I remember seeing in some videos, and it goes over Kimsey Creek. So we're going to go across this bridge, get a picture of it first, and over the bridge we go. And I better watch where I'm going, because I almost fell. Alrighty. So, as you can see, I've gotten to the portion of Kinsley Creek Trail, where the water, actually, where the creek actually goes over the trail, but it's pretty thin. I can, I can imagine that after a good rainfall, it might look a lot different. So, something of interest. So I'm getting to another section where the um, water comes out over the trail. So, uh, that looked like a little spring. So if I wanted some fresh water, that ought to be really good and filtered. Um, but 
I've got bottled water that I brought from home that I haven't finished yet. And <laughs> to be honest with you, this water, I bet, tastes a lot better because I just drank some water that I from my bottle and you know it did taste to me a little chlorinated but after I start treating water with iodine I don't know if that's going to taint the flavor of it or not so since this is my first hike all this kind of stuff remains to be seen and we shall see <laughs> 